Hey guys, my name's Jordan from Cider Fries, and you are watching Bacon Bandit with Jordan! Sponsored by Tangle. Today we're gonna be breaking down the face peel slash reveal shot from our Kool-Aid commercial, Fuel Your Fun. So let's get to it. Our approach to this shot is to composite our real mom's head onto our mask girl's body through the use of our background layer, foreground layer, and plate layer. To pull this off, we needed a green screen, a couple C-stands, clamps and sandbags to make sure that green screen is nice and taut, two kinos, and a mask and wig combo that matches our actor's skin tone and hair color. We started with our mask girl, making sure that the arms she used for removing the mask passed over the entirety of her face. This is important as we'll later use that arm as the white point to remove mom's head and pose. After we got a solid take, we rigged and lit the green screen, flying in our mom actress to get that foreground layer locked up. Now, an important step here is making sure the entirety of her neck is visible, as essentially we're going to be slotting her head into the mask girl's shirt and post. During the capture of our mom, we grabbed multiple angles of our actress looking out so that we had a safe range of perspectives to find a match for our mask girl layer. We also had to remain still during these takes in order to avoid having to stabilize her head's movement in post. When we got a wide enough range of options, we called it a day, and it was time for post. We started by importing our footage and creating a new comp from our mask girl layer. We then brought in our favorite take of mom that matched the angle of our mask girl, keyed the layer with key light, and did some additional tweaks to the composite to smooth our edges. We then pre comped the mom layer to make sure that the footage was easily replaceable when it came time to color, and changed the anchor point of the layer to be at the base of her neck. Next, we duplicated our mask girl layer and rotated from the collar down in order to sandwich our mom layer inside of the shirt. Now I'm sure by now you may have noticed the sheer mass of wig hair peeking out from behind mom's head, and this is normally the part where I'd insert a plate layer, but in the hustle and bustle of the shoot day, I committed the cardinal sin and did not actually shoot one. Are you kidding me? Idiot. So we went ahead and painted a background layer using a duplicate of our masked girl layer and used that to cover the excess wig hair. Now it's time for the mask pull itself. This was completed using a combination of the Mesh Warp plugin, which gave us detailed control of the push and pull of mom's face, and some minor position, scale, and rotation animation. The goal here was to roughly match the distortion of the mom's face to that of the practical mask the girl was pulling off her head. Once the distortion felt right, we used the girl's arm as a white point to mask away the mom layer and reveal the girl underneath. Looking back, I would have loved to have had a couple options of our mom reacting to the mask pull whether that be through a facial expression or even a slight tilt of the head that we could have coupled with our mesh warp. But I didn't. So coupling that with the lack of background plate, my conscience is starting to get pretty heavy. Finally, we added a fun little camera zoom to up the energy of the face reveal and send that puppy directly to the back of the render queue. So let's take a look at our final product. And there you have it. A face peel that'll make you squeal. Until next time, my name's Jordan from Side of Fries, and <laughs> this whole effect was a waste of time. <laughs>